here welcome to the country jazz lick of the week this week is a lick from junior bernard the guitarist for bob wills and the texas playboys if you're interested in learning more junior bernard after this lesson please see the description below there will be a link to my junior bernard guitar course and transcription pack for further learning also catch a deal this week by using the code junior in all caps through the weekend for 15% off this course. So in this lick, we're gonna be talking about an idea that Junior Bernard lifted straight from Charlie Christian and ran with. This is gonna be more of a phrase or a collection of notes rather than a specific lick. We're gonna be working from the key of A just over kind of a blues swing context. And I'm gonna be working out of this A triad here at the fifth and seventh frets. So we have A, C sharp, E and A. So Junior would often take this triad and lead up with it. He would start on the one and go up to the fifth. And then two things would happen after that. He would either go to the sixth and flat seventh. So he might go and then maybe back down. Or he would jump up to the second or nine, the B note. He would go and then come back down the A, G, F sharp, E. So these are his kind of pool of notes that he would choose from in these types of phrases. So we can just have fun kind of messing around, uh, combining both of those ideas. So we could do something like... Take it up to the D chord, do the same thing. And then on the E, we could do the same thing, move it up to the next E shape here. And resolve. So being able just to do that through your main shapes, through the chords of the song is really important. The next thing that he would often do within that kind of pool of notes is approach the third with the flat third. So we might, instead of going straight up, you might go and then grab those next two collection of notes. So we might go. Either of those work, and that's kind of nailing the sound. Same thing up here on the D, we might go. Resolve to the A, and then on the E, back to the A. The next thing, the final idea I want to share with you from this pool of notes that you would do is connecting the nine or the two down to the one chromatically. So we have this, and then dropping that down chromatically. To the D, and just falls right to the A, which is really nice. And then the E, so I'm going to play all of this again, and I want you to see. How I use it in different contexts across the solo, uh, specifically looking at how I'm moving up that triad and then attaching those two kind of ways of moving back down it with our two options for those uh, collection of notes, how I'm using the approach from the flat third to the major third, and then the chromatic connection from the nine or second down to the one. Okay. <laughs>
once again, if you're interested in learning some more Junior Bernard, highly recommend you check out the course as well as my monthly lesson series, taking a look at the most popular Western swing tunes on guitar and taking a look at how we can learn the melody, how we can expand the melody and soloing and basic kind of improvisation and incorporating Western swing licks and phrases as well as some chord solos and then the Eldon Shamblin rhythm guitar, guitar style that accompanies that. So that will all be in the description below and I'll see you in our next Country Jazz Lick of the Week. Thank you.